What's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to be covering an asset kit that only 3D artists could get excited about, Trash Kit. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first off, can I just say that it is hilarious how excited I was when I saw this uh, asset kit available because it's actually a really amazing asset kit containing trash and garbage and other things that you can put into your scene to add that more realistic like rubbish look inside of your uh, inside of your models. So basically what this is, is this is a giant asset kit with over 700 assets um, designed to help you add trash to your scenes. And so not only does it come with a ton of different uh, categories of trash, um, ranging from small to large, but it also comes with a geometry node setup that you can use in order to um, more quickly scatter this stuff inside of your models. And then finally, it also has a geo scatter biome, which we'll take a look at, which is just absolutely fantastic for placing this based on locations that you set your scene. And so let's go ahead and let's start by taking a look at what's contained inside of the asset kit. All right, and so if you look at what's contained in here, it's quite the collection. You've got everything from small items like cigarette butts and uh, small pieces of trash like bottles, all the way up to larger pieces of trash. So you've got like trash bags and you've got like cans and barrels full of trash and other things like that. And so there's a ton of stuff contained in here. You've got tires, you've got boxes, just all sorts of trash um, that you can spread inside of your scene. So as you can see, it's a really great collection and you wouldn't necessarily have to use this just for like trashed out alleys. I mean, you've got other things that you can use for populating scenes like pallets and dumpsters, other things like that, that would go in just kind of a normal scene as well. So just a huge collection of assets. Note that they are asset browser compatible. So if I was to jump over into my asset browser, notice how all the trash kit items are contained inside of the asset browser. So I can take any of those. Say I wanted to add like an old paint can or something like that, I can just drag that in and it's gonna work in my scene just fine. So they're really easy to use. And so one thing I do wanna highlight is just the quality of these models. Like look at the way the light reflects off of these trash sacks right here. I mean, just the textures are also um, really high resolution. And I didn't even download, I think there's some optional higher resolution textures that I didn't even download because I don't need anything to be that high resolution. But just the quality of this model, these models is super, super high. And so one thing this tool does come with is it comes with a geometry node setup. And so the way the geometry node setup works is you need to go in and you need to append it from the overall file that comes with trash kit. And so the way that that works is you need to do a file append and then you need to go into the trash kit file right here. And under collection, you want to append the trash kit plus geometry nodes um, set up into your model. So if I click on append right here, that's going to add that into my model. And then I can use the geometry node setup. All right, and so what that's gonna do is that's gonna append the trash kit to your scene. Um, just be aware that I think you do need all of this appended to your scene in order for the geometry node setup to work, I believe. Um, I haven't found a way to do it without that. But the way that this works is since you've appended both the, uh, both the models themselves as well as the geometry nodes, you can now come in here and you can add a geometry nodes modifier to an object. So in this case, right, we're gonna click on the drop down right here and this should have brought in the trash kit geo nodes. And so what that's gonna do is that's going to apply the geo node setup to whatever you've placed the geometry node modifier on. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to set the base amount of trash as well as a ton of other things in here as well. Like if it adds grass, how much rubble is in here, all of that is going to be adjustable based on these setups over here. So again, I mean, it does exactly what you would expect. You can adjust the amount of wood, number of buckets, just everything that you might place in here from a model standpoint. And note that you can also adjust things like the seed. So if I drag, right, if I look at the seed, it's going to randomize the placement and also the items that are in here. So you can also adjust the density of scattered objects by adjusting the scatter density right here. So it gives you a lot of control over the way that you can scatter these objects in here. It's really kind of an efficient way of placing trash and garbage in your scene if you wanna do that. You can also, by the way, turn this down so that there's more objects in here, but the viewport visibility 
is lower. And so you can also use curves to control where this shows up on this object. This one's a little bit weird. Uh, it took me a second at first to figure it out, but basically what happens is a, a lot of the time what we've done in the past, right, is we've drawn a curve and then we've applied the geometry node set up to that. We don't want to do that. What we want to do instead is remember that I have the geometry node modifier applied to this plane right here, right? Well, if you scroll down, there's an option for use curves. And so we want to make sure that we've toggled that on like this. Well now, instead of adding a new curve, what you wanna do is you wanna go up to your curves draw by hand collection that gets brought in. And there's an object in here called draw brush curve, right? And if I click on it, it's just a empty object that's sitting, um, it's sitting right here over on the uh, model origin. But what I can do is I can just tab into edit mode that object and I can actually draw a curve on this surface. So remember that we're basically just adding this brush curve right here. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw on this surface. And we'll keep it really simple and just draw a line right here. Well, notice what that does is that places trash wherever your line goes. So what that means is that means you can use this in order to adjust where the trash is going to go. So for example, if I was to select these, move it over, notice how the trash is also going to move over based on where that curve goes. But again, remember this isn't a new curve. This is just you adding detail to this draw brush curve item right here. And so if we wanted some extra grass, for example, we could take this object and just tab into edit mode on this curve. So we're just gonna select that curve, I'm gonna tab into edit mode and I'm gonna do a line right here, I'm gonna draw across this surface. Well, what that's gonna do is that's gonna add extra grass in here. So you can use this in order to add grass into your scene if the geometry node setup isn't placing that grass where you want it to go. So the geometry node is one way of placing these objects in your scene. Now, the other way that you can do this if, is if you have the add-on scatter, which I've talked about before, I can link to it in the notes down below. But if you have the add-on scatter, then you don't have to do the append. So the way that that works is I'm gonna create a completely new Blender file. All right, so we've got this completely new Blender file, right? So if I do a Shift A, and let's say I wanted to add trash to a plane over here. So I'm just going to scale it up. Let me go ahead and scale it on the X axis a little bit. And we wanna make sure that we've we wanna make sure that we've applied our rotation and scale after we do that. But if you have the add-on scatter, what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to load in the scatter pack. And so there's a scatter pack file that comes along with this that you can actually load into scatter. And it's actually going to find this. Well, notice how there's like preset biomes in here. So what that means is that means that I can activate scatter select this object, and then I can pick one of these biomes. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to bring in maybe the junkyard with the grass right here. I'll just click on the plus button, and that's going to automatically place all of that inside of my scene. So notice how it says importing. It's going to import this, and it's going to scatter it along my scene using scatters system. And I don't have to actually append all of those model files in order to do this. And so if I look at this, it's actually scattered this in here using that biome on my surface. So I didn't have to add any of this, it's just doing it automatically. And you can definitely come in here and you can um, adjust some of the things that are in here. So for example, if I wanted to adjust the trash bags, what I could do is I could come in here and I could select the trash bags and I could bring up the instances per meter like this. And so notice what it's doing is it's automatically adjusting that based on the settings that are inside of scatter. So I could use this in order to really quickly scatter trash across a scene without having to do any setup. So I have absolutely no clue why this asset kit is so exciting to me, but it's just a lot of fun and it looks great and it's easy to use. But I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about this asset pack? What do you think about the way that it works with scatter? I just love having that conversation with you guys. I'll link to it in the notes down below if you're interested. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.